Call 7 Consumer Alert at 10. Just how lean is your ground beef? A Call 7 hidden camera investigation revealing what you see on the label may not be what you actually get. Call 7 investigator Teresa Marchetta putting several brands of ground beef to the test. Teresa, you found more fat than the label promised. In fact, more fat than advertised. In nearly half the samples we tested, new federal guidelines require that you have proper label labeling, including the fat content in ground beef. But we found that key nutritional information that you're counting on may not be accurate. I care about fat. I don't like it to be really fatty. We found a lot of Coloradans care about fat and count on labels to make the best decisions when they shop. Would that concern you that if it, if it had more than what it says on the uh, label? Yes, it would, because I, I look at labels and I, I tend to go by what it says. Ground beef accounts for about 66% of all the beef we eat. Even just a few percent difference on the label can dramatically increase the amount of fat and calories you're eating. I have about four pound of the lean ground beef. So the Call 7 investigators went out with hidden cameras to five Denver area grocery stores that grind their own beef. So what's the fat content on that? This one's going to be about, this one's going to be about 82 percent. 82? From each butcher, we purchased two quarter pound samples. Are you sure that's 85? Yes. Yeah, we actually do fat tests on our, on our grinds. We returned to the Call 7 kitchen where we anonymously labeled the samples and put them in an insulated shipping container with dry ice, then sent them overnight to a lab specializing in food testing. The samples that we did receive from you folks were properly wrapped and submitted cold. King Supers, Marzix, and Safeway all passed our tests. Four out of the ten samples came back with more fat than was listed on the label. Samples from Tony's Market and Whole Foods. The most significant discrepancy, Tony's 82 to 85 percent lean should have had no more than 18 percent fat. Our sample contained more than 30 percent. Their 85 to 89 percent beef, which should have no more than 15 percent fat, actually had more than 19 percent. Two samples from Whole Foods were also over. One had almost twice as much fat as it says on the label. Is it reasonable for a consumer to think that when you see that fat content, I'm assuming that it's that amount or less, not that amount or more? Well, it's supposed to be, yes. It's supposed to be that amount or less. Right. As a consumer, that's what I would think. We uncovered this despite new nutritional labeling standards this year by the USDA. The agency admits to Call 7 they're not inspecting yet to be sure the fat in your meat matches what's on the label. That's surprising. <laughs> Would like it to be accurate. I like it to be like 100% accurate. Now the USDA does tell us they will start inspecting ground beef labels for accuracy within the next year. As for Tony's and Whole Foods, they declined to go on camera with us for an interview. However, they did say in light of our findings, they are going to retrain their employees. We have their statements for you on our website. I'm Call 7 Investigator Teresa Marchetta. Quite an eye-opener. Thank you, Teresa. If you have a story idea for the Call 7 Investigators, call 303-832-7777 or send us an email at call7 at thedenverchannel.com.